Welcome back. Here's uh, the last of the tutorials on converting. Uh, we've gone from in the metric system uh, from bigger to smaller and smaller to bigger. So in this last clip here, we're actually going to go from the U.S. system to metric. So let's apply the rules we had before. And here's a couple of examples to hopefully make sense of this. So the rule here is you're basically going to pick the unit with the one in front of it and apply it to rules one and two. So here's what I mean. We have 107 inches is equal to how many centimeters and how many pounds is equal to kilograms. Well, that's U.S. to metric and U.S. to metric. So what we do is we go, we look at the list again. So we have one inch. Well, that's equal to about 2.54 centimeters. It's really hard to write with this uh, paint pen. Uh, and then we have uh, pounds to kilograms. And there are 2.2 pounds. And that's equal to 1 kilogram. So if you ever go to the uh, the gym, you, you can usually see that on those big circle plates where they show the pounds and the kilograms side by side. So again, the first thing we got to decide is which one is the bigger unit. And we talked about that before. Uh, the one with the one is your bigger unit. So we pick the unit with the one in front of it and we apply rules one and two. So here goes. We're going to go from inches to centimeters. By the way, 107 inches is approximately the height of the world's tallest guy ever. We'll talk more about that in class. He was almost nine feet. Uh, a typical five-foot person is 60 inches. So one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So an inch is bigger than a centimeter, which means we're going to multiply. What do we multiply by? We multiply the by the amount of centimeters in one inch. So if we go 107 inches times 2.54, it should give us approximately 272 centimeters. All right, check that on your calculator. In our second example, we're going to uh, look at the um, the poundage, if that's a word, of the mascot for UT, uh, Bevo. He's about 1,300 pounds after a good buffet. And we're going to go from pounds to kilograms. So again, kilogram must be bigger than the pound since there's one kilogram and the one uh, tells you that it's bigger. So if we're going to go from a pound to a kilogram, that means we're going from something smaller to bigger. So this time we'll have to divide. So what do we divide by? We divide by 2.2. Why? Because that is how many pounds are in one kilogram. So when we divide 1,300 by 2.2, we get about 590.9 kilograms. So Bevo is not small by any means. So check your calculator on that one.